Howdy, Fruit Loops. A to the O here, joined by my best friend, P to the E to the A to the... I think they get it, dude. No need to bore them with every single letter of the alphabet. Well, I sure hope they're not bored by every letter of the alphabet, because that's exactly what we're doing today in the A to Z shopping challenge. <laughs> oh, I know this challenge. This is the one where we have to find items starting with every letter, right? That's why we're in a dollar store instead of the kitchen. Right you are. And this is my kind of dollar store pair. It's got everything from the annoying orange to the annoying orange. <laughs> uh. Anyway, Pear and I will take turns putting items into our carts until we get through the whole alphabet. If either of us gets stumped, he has to buy everything in the other person's cart. Fine by me. It's a dollar store. How bad could the price tag get? I think you might be surprised, Pear. Some of the items in here might blow your mind. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? Why did you phrase it like that? Three minutes on the clock, please. Ready, set, go. <laughs> okay, I found something that starts with A, an acrylic paint set. Nice, and for B, I got blasting caps. C is for colored pencils. D is for dynamite. E, uh, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, an eraser. Found some fuses for F. For G, here's a glue stick. Nice, for H, I found a book called How to Explode Things. Dude, what aisle are you finding this stuff in? Um, the explosives aisle, of course. I told you, it's my kind of dollar store. <laughs> uh, two minutes remaining. Okay, fine. I is for... Illegal plans to build an explosive device? I is mine, dude. Oh. But I'll take it, just because I can't find any other items. All right, that means it's back to you for J. Easy, jar of cyclotrimethylene trinitramine. Um, okay. Well, here's a keychain for K. Lead mononitro resorcinate. M, M&Ms. N, nitroglycerine. Orange. Wow, you actually found an orange for the letter O? No, I was chastising you for picking only explosive items. Wow, oh. well of course I'm only picking explosive items. I want this episode to be the bomb, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Okay, oh, oatmeal. Ooh, the food aisle is a good idea. Let's see what I can find for P. Ooh, pie. Nice, I'm proud of you for not choosing an explosive. Romania, an autobiography slash confession, which I found inside this pie. <laughs> <laughs> One minute remaining. Fine, moving right along to Q, Q-tips. And for R, really explosive chemicals. S, socks. Oh, that means I have tea, awesome. Oh, I hope they have some in stock. Yes, I found some TNT under there. Underwear. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it. No, I mean underwear, that's my U item. Oh, gotcha. Ha. Okay, so that means it's B to me. Better go with very explosive chemicals. <laughs> for W, I found a water bottle. And for X, I found these extremely explosive chemicals. <laughs> for my final item, I give you Y. Yo-yo. Wow, we're all ready to Z? Hmm, well, what am I gonna do for Z? Ah. Oh, I gotta find something quick. <laughs> Let me guess, you're gonna choose something highly explosive. <laughs> Oh, I wish, but, oh man, I, I can't find anything in the explosives aisle that starts with C. You're kidding. Oh, I'm not. Oh no, Bear, this is terrible. I had a whole explosion motif at play here, and now it's ruined. Why do you care? It's not like I had a motif. Sure you did. You had a boring motif. I mean, there's no way you chose all those super boring items in your cart by accident, right? Um. But what am I talking about? Of course you would choose them on purpose. No one would possibly put so many incredibly boring items in one cart without meticulous planning and a clear, clear vision. Uh, whatever you say, dude. Ah, well, I guess I'll have to be the one who brings the episode down. Bummer I couldn't find anything explosive. All I could find was this dumb old Zippo lighter. Wait, what? Yeah. No! Whoa, I've never been in a butt store before. I didn't even know they were a thing. Oh yeah, dude. A lot of people like me out there need a new butt, you know? Trust me, the owners of the Corner Butt Boutique do very well for themselves. Wait, where's Orange? Hey friends, 
I thought it was only appropriate to enter through the rear. <laughs> Listen, everybody, behave yourselves, okay? This is like the best butt store in town. If they don't have the replacement butt of my dreams, nobody will. Corey, welcome. I'm Cheeky, your personal salesperson for the day. Please step into our fitting room. As for the rest of you, make yourselves comfortable. Enjoy the complimentary soda. Complimentary soda? Uh-oh, I'm about to make some really poor decisions. I can already tell. I'm not usually a fan of shopping, but this I can get behind. <laughs> oh, here he comes. All right, you guys. Feast your eyes on this. Talk about real buns of steel. <laughs> Titanium, actually. Yeah, this thing's military grade. Apparently it repels bullets. Not to mention women. Can't hear you over the sound of my butt being so awesome. Go ahead, somebody, shoot something at my butt. Um, Do it. I'm about to make a major purchase here. I gotta test it out. Okay. Please. Ha! Didn't even feel it. Although when I think about it, that could just be because I lost a half of my brain that feels pain, so... A butt that can't feel anything seems like a downside, if you ask me. What do you mean? Like, if you're gonna shell out a bunch of money for a new butt, shouldn't you be able to feel stuff? You know, the softness of a sofa, the snugness of a good pair of jeans. Hey, don't look at me like that. You know what, Little Apple? That's actually a really great point. If I wanted a numb bum, I'd stick with the status quo. Cheeky, show me something else in my thigh. I want to feel my new butt. As you wish, sir. How y'all doing? Enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Some of us a bit too much. Woohoo! Guys, if you mix the sodas together, the flavor is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, I don't feel very good. Sir? Looks like we got another one. What do you think? Um. I mean, it feels great. Oh. Yeah, soft cushion. Pooey. Yep, felt that feed. No buts about it. This butt works. Um, Corey, are you sure you're okay with the color? What about it? Whoa, who let Rafiki in here? <laughs> Rafiki? What's she talking about? Someone tell me what's up with my bottom! <laughs> Corey, your butt is red. Like, bright red. So what? I'm red. Um, I'm an apple, so I'm red, right? Sure, I lost a half of my brain that sees color, but surely I'm the same color as my brother, right? Well, remember, we're half brothers. So who's gonna tell him? Not it. Mm, my stomach hurts. Sir, I'm afraid you're not red. Excuse me? You're yellow. What? Nobody calls me yellow! Sir? I'll do a stunt right here and now. Call me yellow. I'm the opposite of yellow. I'm gonna jump a motorcycle over the moon. Quick, somebody get me a helmet. I'm gonna ride a, a canoe off the edge of the earth. That won't be necessary, sir. I've actually alerted security and they'll be seeing you out. Oh no! Okay, you know what? I made a theme and I'm sorry. See, I had an accident and I lost half of my brain that acknowledges social decorum and also voice volume. See what I mean? <sighs> yes, yes I do. Quick, you guys, help me pick out a butt before they throw me out on it. How about that yellow, uh, I, I mean, that appropriately colored butt over there? Simple, classic, elegant. I love it. Yeah, I could get used to this. It's your lucky day, sir. That butt just so happens to be on sale. The price has been... Cut? Yes, to be more precise, the price has been... Slashed? Yes, but in fact, the price has been... Halved? Yes, it's... 50% off? Yes, congrats, you can read. Would you let me get out a sentence? No, 50% off! Huh? Ah! Oh, wait, it's actually hung up there by a string. Yes, it's for the sale. Kind of a weird side to hang directly above me, gotta say. Also, that string looks weirdly frayed, don't you think? Oh, yes, we only use the cheapest and lowest quality string to hang our extremely dangerous sale signs directly above our customers. But as long as everyone behaves and doesn't cause any sort of commotion, we'll be just... Uh oh Here it comes! Oh, come on! Aw, oh, man, that was the one! I'd say it was more like the number two! 
Please leave now, all of you. Well, guess that's the end. <laughs> hey, everybody. Pear here with Little Apple. Yo, yo, yo. And this is the Going to the Worst Rated Places in Town Challenge. Yeah, we got this list with a bunch of businesses that have super low scores on Yelp. And you'd know all about super low, wouldn't you, Little Apple? <laughs> You know, because of your, uh, your height. Pear, I don't need this crap from you. I'm sorry. First, we're going to visit the worst ranked pizza place in the entire kitchen. Apparently, it's right around here. Domino's? No. Little Caesars? Nope, it's this one. Pizza Butt. Ha, huh. well, that's strange. I've lived in the kitchen for quite a while, and I've never heard of Pizza butt! Well, that's on you, because no one out pizzas the butt! <laughs> Get it? The pizza's shaped like a butt! Ugh, thanks for explaining, Orange. It's so clever it would have gone over my head otherwise. Maybe, but it definitely would have gone over Little Apple's head, though, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> he's short! <laughs> we get it, Orange! Orange, did you know this is the worst rated pizza place in the entire kitchen? Why the heck would you work here? <laughs> work here? I own the place. Here's a menu. Dude, these toppings sound disgusting. Fart deans? Extra cut the cheese? Fartichoke hearts? Oh, well that's a mistake. Oh, thank God. It should actually say artichoke farts. <laughs> it's funnier that way, right? Orange, are you even trying to run a successful business here? Not really. If it fails, I have a buttload of others. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving. Well, the goal was to find an awful place of business, so I say we're off to a great start. What's next on the list? I think there's a typo. Why? What does it say? Welcome to Walmart. How may I smelp you? <laughs> orange, you work here too? So what you talking about? I'm not orange, I have a mustache. <laughs> oh, whoops, what do you guys need? Something from our farts and crafts department perhaps? Or maybe some farty supplies? Oh, we just got a new shipment into the home and tootment department. And same with patio and fartin'. <laughs> well, I've seen enough. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't have a nose right now. Oh, and the fart messy is open till 9 p.m. <laughs> ah, okay, what's next? Looks like the worst rated burger restaurant, McNyanyas. No way we're going there. Obviously, Orange owns it too. Nah, are you sure you don't want to try a burger? It comes with ketchup and mayonnaise. <laughs> next. <laughs> worst rated auto parts store. Napa Auto Farts. Stop on in. We can massively improve your gas mileage. Dude, this <laughs> list is ridiculous. Worst rated cell phone provider, Motor Boda. Hello? Ah, gross. Ugh, getting me all wet. Ugh, ah, gross. What the heck is going on here? Does Orange seriously own every bad business in the kitchen? Wait, hold on. There's one that sounds like a normal company. The kitchen's worst rated gym is Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness? That's what it actually says on the page? Wanna read it yourself? Um, no thank you. Dude, this is great. Planet Fitness is an actual business. We finally get to review something Orange doesn't own. Okay, so I can kind of see why it's so low rated. I mean, right off the bat, the paint on the front door is peeling and- Pear? And inside, the exercise machines look like they're from the 1990s. Pear! What? Look at the logo. What about it? That's not the normal Planet Fitness logo. Are you sure? Very sure. I went there for years trying to bulk up. Whoa, I guess it is a really bad gym, huh? Can we stay focused on the logo, please? See those planet rings? Yeah. There's only one planet in our solar system with vertical rings, Pear. Do you know what it is? Oh my. Uranus. <laughs> it's totally Uranus, you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that one's gonna peel the paint even more. <laughs> Ooh! Seriously? Orange owns this business too? This whole challenge was a setup! Who made this list anyway? Ooh, that's it. Um, Pear, I'm not sure that's such a great idea. Oh, you don't, huh? Well, forgive me if I don't take advice about what is and isn't a good idea from the guy who thought Pizza Butt was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty funny, but I'm just saying, there's a lot of fart fumes in the air ever since I started all these businesses. And? And, well, 
We're standing kind of close to TNT Fridays. <laughs> yeah. What up, Fruity Toots? Round of applause for sis. Ah, uh, thanks. And how about a hand for orange? And give an even bigger hand for baby orange. Whee! And give an even bigger hand to Pear. Wow, what a welcome. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Should we give the hand puns a wrist? Hands down! <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, fruit lovers, today we're doing the mom outfit versus the dad outfit challenge. That's right. First, Orange will take baby Orange to the mall and pick out a dad outfit. Then I'll take baby Orange to the mall and put him in a mom outfit. Then our judge, Pear, will choose the winning look. Hold on, I'm confused. Orange? Are you Baby Orange's dad? No. Sis, are you Baby Orange's mom? Nope. And yet you're doing the mom outfit versus dad outfit challenge? Yep. Well, okay then. Woohoo! I'm off to the mall with Baby Orange. Whee! So, what should we do to pass the time till he gets back? Honestly, I don't really care. Want to hear the highest note I can sing? No. I said no! La! Whoa! That was really high! But not as high as this! La! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Just tell us about your shopping trip already! Meh, it was okay. Would you say it was mall right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Orange! What did you buy at the mall? Oh man, so much! I got baby orange lollipops, candy bars, saltwater taffy. Okay, so lots of candy. I'm wondering more about the clothes you bought. Oh man, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Baby orange has no new outfit and he's hopped up on candy. So, did I win the challenge? No, you didn't win the challenge. Besides, sis hasn't even gone yet. That's my cue. Take us away, baby O. And remember to buy him some clothes. So. Look, if you don't mind, let's just sit here in complete silence for a while. No sweat. Want to hear how quiet I can be? More than anything. Okay, here it goes. I guess I'm not very good at being quiet after all. <laughs> no. Hey, boys! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Shut up! Shut up! Yeah. Oh my god! Sis, please tell me you at least remembered to buy some baby clothes. Of course I did. They're right here, see? Hold on. If all the clothes are in that bag, then... <laughs> ah, my eyes! My eyes! Oops. Guess I forgot to put the outfit on the baby. You think? So, did I win the challenge? No! No one won the challenge! Why? Because everyone lost. Why? Because everyone in your extended family is... Ah! Oh, would you put on some clothes already? <laughs> Here, give me one more chance. I can do this. You can take an infant to a mall, purchase him clothes, and clothe him in said clothes? Oh, man, when you list it all out like that, it actually feels kind of complicated. Orange. <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, I'm going to get this done. Orange, I'm not in the mood for... <gasps> Was that a pterodactyl? Uh, I believe it's pronounced pterodactyl. It's not. Wanna hear my best pterodactyl cry? No. Kaka! Hey, hey, we doing pee pterodactyl cries up in this? But totally are. <laughs> Ka! Ka! Oh my gosh. Orange, tell me baby Orange is dressed in an actual outfit. Well, he might be. What do you mean, he might be? Well, see, he kind of stole my wallet and keys and then ran away. So he might have gone to buy himself an outfit. Or he might be lurking nearby with your keys ready to lock us all inside cupboards. What did you say, Pear? I can't hear you. I'm locked in a cupboard. 
Ah, I said Baby Orange is gonna lock us all inside cupboards. That's true. Baby Orange does lock people inside cupboards a lot, including me right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, hold on. I just realized something. You're locked in a cupboard? No, but hear me out. Baby Orange didn't get any new clothes at the mall, right? Right! So that means he's still... Ah! My eyes! Ah, my eyes! 